So the past year brought a lot of changes for me. I got married, I quit a job I'd had for over two years, and I found out I have a bunion. So inevitably that means I have to approach my footwear very differently than I've been for most of my life, which is why we need to talk about feet. So many of us have been buying cute but ill-fitting shoes for a majority of our life, and unfortunately that seems to be what's most widely available right now. I truly don't understand how shoes keep getting crappier in quality but more expensive at the same time. Also why do all shoes now just not have any arch support? When did they stop making that? And a lot of shoes are being made with a relatively narrow toe box, and this is probably partially what's led to me now having a tailor's bunion. Now I'm left needing even wider shoes than before. I started having pain in my foot over the summer, and that's what led to me finding out that I have this bunion, but even before that, I kind of had already been getting to the point where I'm just tired of buying shoes that sort of fill a gap in my wardrobe, or they're cute and they mostly fit and they're mostly comfortable but aren't just right. So coming to that place in my life and just in an effort to move myself toward a more wearable shoe collection, I guess, I need to take a good hard look at the shoes that I have and get rid of any that really just aren't serving me well. So that's what we're doing today. Lately, I've just been really enjoying other people's decluttering videos where they go through very specifically what they have and why they are or aren't keeping it, partly because I'm just nosy what other people have, but also I like hearing their reasoning. If that's something you like, you've come to the right video. If you're just here to look at feet, uh, that's cool too, I guess. Thanks for your view. Mm, running out of sunlight. We're gonna start with boots, cause um, they're kind of my favorite category. I got these probably eight or more years ago at a PacSun that was going out of business, so they were only $10. They do fit pretty okay though, honestly, out of all my shoes right now. These hurt my bunion the least. <laughs> God, I hate that I have a bunion. <laughs> Up next, my Doc Martens that I bought maybe a year ago. I honestly don't remember. I still haven't broken them in. They're freaking painful. Help. I just really love combat boots. They've been a staple in my wardrobe since 2011, probably. And knowing that, I decided it was a good time to invest in a pair of Doc Martens. I don't regret this purchase at all. I just can't figure out how to make this purchase not hurt yet. I still have to wear band-aids on my heels when I wear them, so. Someday soon you will bend to my will. Okay, next, I have two pairs of black ankle boots, heeled ankle boots that are kind of similar. I feel like because they're similar, I should only keep one, but these give me entirely different vibes. Like this pair I wore a lot to work at my last job because they were really just like a good basic boot for fall and winter that went with a lot of things. These I hardly ever wear, probably because the heel's a little bit higher than I like, but I do like them. I don't know, I just think they're kind of sassy. <laughs> That word sounds stupid coming out of my mouth, but that's the best way to put it. I am going to keep these. I think I'm going to put them on probation, and that'll just mean that at the end of the year, if I haven't worn them, I need to heavily reconsider. And I think the last two pairs of boots I have are just my snow boots that I've literally had since high school, and also my hiking boots that I've had for a while. Not that I go hiking super often, but you know, these are useful for the times when I do. <coughs> So just recently I bought myself um, these plain black Vans. I just really needed an everyday shoe to wear every day. <laughs> and so far they're working out pretty well. They're not the most comfortable shoe I've ever had, but the toe box is wide enough that it doesn't give me any issues there. I just wish they had a little more arch support. I also have this red pair of high top Converse that I bought for myself in college. I had wanted these for years and I still love them. Probably most of you know Converse are not the most comfortable shoe in the world, but I just think they're so cool. So I love these. These are not going anywhere. My beat up obnoxious orange Nikes. Why did I buy this color? To be honest, I'm impressed with how long these have lasted. Like they're still in really good shape. The only reason that that's a bad thing is because I can't justify buying new sneakers. I hate this color, but if they're still in good shape and serve the purpose I need them to serve, I just, I don't like spending money. Um, these are just a pair of like plain black Walmart sneakers. These actually <laughs> need to go back in my car. I like to keep a pair of sneakers in my car just in case my car breaks down somewhere and I don't know if I had to walk or like 
run from a serial killer, you know. And then my last pair of sneakers are these beautiful gold ones that I never wear. Oh, I really freaking love these. But people make fun of me when I wear them. <laughs> uh, people in town give me dirty looks. Part of me feels like I should just sell them because I haven't worn them. I really like them. But they are also kind of narrow. Like even before I was having foot issues, they just pinched at my feet. Guys, I think I'm gonna sell these. So I have these two kind of Oxford heels. Not the most comfortable in the world, but they are a really good work shoe. I have worn these quite a lot actually. Um, so once they get like more broken in, like these are a little better than these because I've worn these more. So these are a pretty good basic shoe that even though I don't wear them super often, um, they have come in handy quite a bit. So these are keep. And if you can't tell, I have a lot of black and brown shoes because I'm a grandmother. All right, next up, my saddle shoes that are really pretty uncomfortable. This was another pair of shoes, just like the red Converse that I had wanted for years. And when I finally bought them for myself, I was ecstatic, but they're a little disappointing, guys. But despite how uncomfortable they are, as someone who does theater, likes to dabble in vintage fashion, I feel like I need to keep these. Like, I just know I would regret if I got rid of these. Despite their issues, I'm keeping these. All right, and then I only have two pairs of flats because I generally hate flats. They are the worst shoe ever invented. <laughs> I do have this pair of black pointed toe flats from Walmart that are not very comfortable, but they do come in handy if I need them for something specific, maybe something for work or a costume. And then I also have this pair of kind of strappy, I guess, taupe flats that I thrifted for five bucks actually, maybe two years ago, I don't remember. And these are a little bit more comfortable just because they are a wide shoe, um, which usually wide shoes do not work for me because they're also wider at the ankle and I only need them wider in the toe box. So these actually fit pretty okay. They're not that comfortable around the ankle just because of where the straps hit. But I don't know, just for some variety and because they fit the widest point of my foot, I feel like I should keep them. But I think these are also going to go on the probation list. I have a lot of heels, like more than I thought considering how little I wear them. First up, this pair of cork and lace wedges. They're so cute, but guys, I, I literally wore these to wear to my brother and sister-in-law's wedding. So I wore them once. I've been tempted to keep these, but I don't like heels taller than like two inches, so these I'm I'm definitely gonna sell. I didn't wear these a lot this past year, but who really wore anything a lot this past year? But these are probably one of my favorite summer heels. Just they're so basic and go with so many things and they're surprisingly comfortable. These were just something I picked up on a whim at Old Navy probably five years ago and don't regret, I love them. All right, I also have not worn these a lot lately. I've had these for a really long time. I love these because they are a T-strap and they're just so cool. And I cannot wear heels that don't have a strap. My apologies to all the costumers at our local theater that I've ticked off because of this. So I love these, these are not going anywhere. I got these at Target a couple years ago and I don't know why. They're gorgeous, but I've worn them maybe twice. The strap down by the toes is fine, honestly, but the ankle strap hits me at a weird spot that gets a little uncomfortable for me personally. I think they're so beautiful, but my brain says sell them, but my heart says keep them. So probation. Hi, this is Editing Melody. After more thought, I did decide to sell these after all. I got these for our wedding, and I actually got these for, I think, 12 or 13 bucks on ThreadUp. So you don't need to spend a buttload on your wedding shoes, just saying. But I think these are gorgeous. Honestly, I would wear these again. Not that we're going out anywhere at the moment, but they're beautiful. So definitely keeping these. This is another pair of sandal heels that I actually got on ThreadUp a couple years ago. These are actually relatively comfortable, so definitely keeping these. I bought this pair last summer at DSW, and I don't know why. They kind of give me like church mom vibes, which one day I will be a church mom, but right now I don't know. But part of me also feels like I should have a white sandal for summer. But is that just because other people have made me think that that's a basic staple for summer? But are they a basic staple for me? I think I maybe wore these once last year. So I'm gonna put these on probation as well. And then this pair of heels um, was another thread up purchase. Again, T-strap, so it stays on my foot. Um, I think I've worn these twice. 
and I'm not really like a business babe, so I can't see myself needing to wear these anytime soon, but I feel like on the off chance that I do need to go to something more formal, this is a really good shoe for that. And I just think they're so beautiful and they were secondhand. So I am keeping these. Hi, editing Melody again. I actually decided to put these on probation after trying them on because my bunion was like, oh, hell no. I have one more pair of heels that I totally forgot. Guys, I can't believe I almost forgot these shoes. These are the most beautiful shoes I own and I haven't worn them <laughs> at all. I bought these shoes a few years ago because they just, they called out to me. And you know what? Y'all can keep your red bottom Louboutins because get this beautiful blue bottom. I don't know, everything about this shoe just makes my heart happy. I realize it probably seems contradictory to keep these when I'm otherwise getting rid of uncomfortable, pretty shoes, but these are just so pretty that I'm making an exception. It's okay to keep a few useless things if they really, um, spark joy. I don't like flip-flops, but I have a basic pair of flip-flops because, you know, when you go to the beach or the pool, it just makes sense to have some. Um, this past year, I finally replaced my Target sandals that I had had for five years and got these basic black ones. So these are a good basic shoe, relatively comfortable. These I got at the end of the season and haven't worn yet, but I thought they were a really cute, just basic brown sandal. So I got these just to add a little variety and options. <laughs> wow, variety, brown or black? <laughs> So these actually originally had another white strap that went across the middle, or no, it went this way. But I just felt like it was too much going on. I actually cut off the strap and I think I like them a little bit better now. They have a slight heel, which is kind of cool. The plastic is a little bit stiff, but hopefully I can break them in a little bit more this year. But honestly, these might be on probation too. I don't think I wore them at all this past year. And then my last pair of sandals is these gladiator sandals that I think I got in college. Listen, I know people love to hate on gladiator sandals now, but I still love them. The only thing is I did not reach for these once this past summer and Typically I would just cause they're like flat and they're pretty basic and they just have a slightly different look than my other basic black sandals, but these are definitely going on probation. You might be like, what the heck is other? Well, I'll tell you, character shoes, theater kid problems. I have so many shoes that I just don't wear because they're only for shows. So I have basic tan and black character heels that I have had since high school. I also now have tap heels. When we did Elf, that was my first time tap dancing ever and doing it in heels did not make it any easier. I also have a pair of jazz flats, but they are in one of my tote bags because I wore them for the acting class that I teach. So jazz flats, I have those. And then the last pair of shoes that is probably the weirdest, water shoes. If you thought these were only for 10 year olds, you're wrong. So here are all the shoes I decided to sell at this time and all the shoes that are on probation. Before putting everything away though, I did take the opportunity to clean my shoes. This included spraying the insides of boots and sneakers with an anti-funkiness spray, dusting the tops of my shoes with a damp cloth, and using the Wonder Balsam on my docks. I also used some diluted white vinegar to clean the insoles of my heels and sandals. And of course, I cleaned each of the shoes I'm selling. I organized my out of season and infrequently worn shoes into two bins that store under our bed and the rest get placed on our hallway shoe rack. So that's my shoe collection as it stands right now and the things that I'm gonna get rid of. Like I said, I'm kind of just at the point where I don't have time for cute shoes that hurt my feet. I am planning on doing a few more decluttering videos looking at specific categories in my wardrobe and just talking about why I am or am not keeping something as well as mending stuff that needs to be mended. I don't know if that sounds interesting to you. Subscribe, uh, leave a like, comment, share, blah, 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 feed the algorithm monster. You know the drill. I gotta clean up before Charles gets home. Okay, bye. And this is probably what has led to me growing a bunion. Do you grow a bunion? Oh, I hate how predictable I am. No, I don't. It means I'm stable.